Looking at symbol CSTR Coinstar Corporation, this is an international company that operates kiosk machines which you insert your coins into. They make roughly between other international countries in the United States around 10% surcharge on anything you enter in the machine. So if you enter $100, they get an automatic $10 out of it. That accounts to 23% of the revenue. Now in 1992 they started putting these machines out and their business just continued growing ever since then. Now they've branched into the DVD service and is trying to give Netflix some competition and that accounts of 67% of their total revenue. Right now it has roughly 30,000 kiosk machines that operate with just DVDs. They've been having a little bit of problems with the studios saying that the studios are, studios are going to raise their prices on the rights of the movies and they're going to try to delay how fast they get the movies another 28 days and that's been devastating that's why the quarter came in shyer than expected. Some good things going on with the company right now is since 2009, early 2009, they've been testing video games in the machines and they said they're actually doing pretty well. The CEO hasn't confirmed how big the expansion is going to be in the video game segment, but he's very confident in it and he said he'll let us know when it happens. That's what he said on the conference call. Step by step, each quarter will let us know a little more. Now Time Warner came out during its quarter which you know was phenomenal. We had been tracking that thing for a month prior to when they reported and we saw the massive call buying leading up into the quarter. They say that after the movies get released from the theater, 60 days after that they're going to have them streaming on demand which is also going to cause another problem for these rental services. What really needs to happen with Coinstar is they need to get in some kind of online streaming service just like Netflix does in order to be a big player. Now fundamentally this, this company's strong. They still have the Coinstar business which is always going to be there. They don't have a lot of competition in that right now. It's not saying that they won't but they still have a lot of patents in it. And that's another thing the CEO said. He'll keep us informed in what's going to happen with the online streaming he'll let news articles out and he said he's in the next quarter he'll highlight that a lot more and they said if the studios try to charge them more for the videos they'll just go out and buy them outright and they could try to curb the cost appreciation a little by doing that on the right we have the monthly chart and on the left in the middle we have the weekly chart the 200 on the weeklies at 3404 and the 50 on the monthlies at 3408. If it went down to that level, I guarantee there would be a lot of people buying it up. Right now we're flirting with the trend line dating back from 2009. The levels that we're watching right now would be the high from the previous gap, which is 4075. Then the low from the gap down, which is 4314, which we bounced off of. Uh, to go back down and come close to the 4075 level and we are watching the 4425 and that's the high from the big gap down we see that the five day moving average just started ascending that enough isn't for us to buy the easy trade was over but don't get discouraged because there's still going to be plenty of money to be made as long as we trade off these levels we're going to continue watching the 4075. Maybe if we come down tomorrow, we can bounce off of it, and that would be a place that you could enter. Mark these levels on your chart. Also mark 4045, which is a weekly pivot. That's going to be our S2. And our X3, excuse me, S3 will be 4020, and that was Tuesday's low. All right, I'm wrapping this video up now. I just wanted to get this in before I go to sleep. It's 11.50. I'm going to stay up for about another hour. I listened to ACAM conference call just to let you guys know because that stock sold off huge in the aftermarket. And I'm going to finish listening to Agrium's conference call. They beat on earnings. I think tomorrow I'm going to do a video on the fertilizer section because the government came out with that huge report today which caused more buying in the ag sector. It was positive news. So before I let you go I just want to say guys 
there's one subscriber that's been leaving comments of good stocks to look at that have been gapping if any of you see any gapping stocks that look really good do a little bit of research on them if you think that they're good prospects just shoot me a comment and it's greatly appreciated have a great evening and I'll talk to you tomorrow